It's noon o'clock and we're at the home of J. Robert Spencer. Hi, Bobby Spencer. Susan Blackwell, big fan. Thanks for having me on the show. Is that show. right? Yeah. It's 6.07 p.m. and I'm having a romantic dinner at Candle 79 with Broadway's Karen Olivo. Mm -hmm. It's midnight o'clock and I'm here with Constantine Maruas at Dave & Buster's and we're getting ready to kill some zombies. Will it ruin your rocker image if we reveal that your favorite video game is actually Ms. Pac-Man? What's all this mess? Well, it's a little painting I do. Uh, I want you to paint with me if that's okay. So I have my canvas and you have yours. Just full disclosure, um, when I asked Karen out on this date, I asked her if she wanted to go to medieval times and eat turkey legs with our bare hands, to which she said, mm, I'm a vegan, I don't do that. Wah, wah. <laughs> you play a lot of video games, huh? I'm into sports games, you know, I like those games. Like what? Like uh, John Madden football, okay. NBA Live. How many hours games. a day? Uh, probably two hours a day. Way late, like late night, you know, when I get home. Are we supposed to kill these people? Yeah, 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 you're supposed to kill them. Before we get started, you have to come a little closer. Sure. I don't think I washed my hair today, though, I really I don't. I don't think you did either. Let's smell it under here. <laughs> it smells pretty good, did you put on deodorant? Okay. Fight the zombies, you jackwad! So I'm trying to keep the Kurt Russell, Jeff Bridges thing going with the dude. Is that right? You know how they look with their hair. You're going do. for a feathered look, sort feathered. of a Eric Estrada feel? No, I just said Kurt Russell and Jeff Bridges. Say what you want. Do you hamburgers. ever miss hamburgers, pepperoni pizza, the aforementioned bacon, or does that now? Bacon, the smell of bacon can tempt me. Yeah. Um, but when I really try and get it close to my mouth. It makes you want to throw up in your like, pants. Yeah, it's throw up in my pants. Oh, there's the magic. Wow. That's the sound of I don't know what. If you had a time machine and you could revisit one night in your career thus far, what night would you revisit? It would probably be one of the nights of like the idol journey, you know? A night where maybe like a song didn't go over well and I could have like... Oh, you would want to go way. back in time to like revisit and change. Well, that, that's, that's what you're oh, asking. it could be an awesome night. You just want to be like, this night's awesome. I oh, want to live it again. it again. If you had a time machine and you could revisit any moment of your life, what would you revisit? My birth. Really? Yeah. Good answer. Really? I think so. <laughs> what I'm would not, you do? Uh, your birth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe um, like virginity night. How old were you? Fifteen, I think. Like that. This, see, the thing that I love using about acrylic paint is that it's it's it gives like a raised kind of rough, ribbed for her pleasure kind of feel, which I love. Do you love that? <laughs> I do. So do they. But uh, I, I and the thing is, since they. I'm they they who oh, the ladies. That's a super romantic. <laughs> is this where you like my face? I don't know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Um, is there anything that your parents don't know about you? The truth is, my mom and my dad, when we lived in New York, PA, from 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, yeah. at that point, my dad was at the height of his um, uh, retail career, and they were out of the house a lot. Yeah, so you had so a lot I, of time to jack around. I had a lot around. of... of Jacking around time? A lot of sex. I, I had a lot of sex in high school, a lot of sex. I had a lot of sex. Always protected, always wore a condom. Too bad you weren't in my high school, Susan. Oh, if I had a time machine, I could go back in time and f Bobby Spencer. Yeah, oh. there's a time machine right there. Um. I'm not you in that rocket, Bobby Spencer. How was that Tony experience? Talk me through that. Have you watched the video? I have, and it makes me laugh. Cause I'm like, who's that person? What's she doing? Yeah, well, why is she crying like a bitch? <laughs> Did you used to work in a restaurant? So many. What's the craziest shit that ever happened to you when you were waiting tables? We did some bad stuff. Like? I mean, we definitely... Um, For instance? Oh, like, you know, maybe... Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe, that's I don't know. That's the good story, the one that's may, right behind a, your face right now. Maybe a pubic hair and like someone's food or oh. something. Yeah. It might have happened. That's why you should always be nice to your waiter. Oh, hey, you know what time it is? What time? 
Oh, God. It's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. Do you know how it works, Karen Alito? Yes, I know how it works. I've watched the show. I got your nose. I have your little vegan nose. It's a whittle. You can have it back, but first you have to sing me a song. This is the second tenor line from Brigadoon. The top of the second act, run and get him. Get him! Get him! He won't see another morning. I'm actually really good at not singing well. A little birdie told me that you do a fantastic, sort of a bad American Idol audition. Yeah, I'm really bad. Hit me with that. There are giants in the sky. Hit me, give me some of that. Come on, no. Don't stop. You can't Come ruin Sondheim on Broadway.com. Yes, you can. When you're way up high and you look below at the world you left and the things you know little more than a glance is enough to show you just how small you are. Yes. <laughs> Keep going. The elevated train by my window doesn't phase me anymore. And the rattling screams don't disrupt my dreams. It's a lullaby in its way. The elevated train drives everyone insane, but I don't mind, oh no. <laughs> It was really bad. It's really good. It's so bad and good. Do I get my nose back? No, not yet. Wow. Stop him! Stop him! Bones ringing. Another day. You know what I like it when you sing? What? <clears throat> when you go. Be done, do. She's done it, ladies and gentlemen. She's done it. Do it. Monday warrior, mean, mean stride. Today's Tom Sawyer, mean, mean bright. That's you, Drummond, right? If I win the lottery, you'll never see me again. You're doing okay so far. Keep going. I'll be downtown. Louder. I'll get a nice studio. Told ya. Get out of the barrio. I do another show. I'm not supposed to know this. Take your nose back. Yes. <laughs> do you do any impressions? Impressions? Yeah. No. I do a little Jim Carrey. That's all I can there do, really. Go. All right. Just petite. Just a petite. All right, Jim then. Carrey. Here we go, people. What's his name? Um, he's got the famous falsetto voice. Mandy Patinkin? No. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Much, I don't know much. But I don't know. I know. Is that him Aaron, or is that that's someone totally else? That's totally Aaron. Remember oh. the touch, the feel. Is that it? The fabric of our lives. Yeah. Too bad you guys can't have any of this. But you can come here and have it. It's actually really good. Are you going to be a vegan? I think that I don't know. If I could eat like this every day, if, the, if I could eat like this, I would be totally down with it. But I don't know how you maintain it. Well, you get cookbooks and you figure it out. Cookbooks. Oh, that's so a, hard. Is it, is it a bad word? <laughs> Remember that time that I was like, Did are you, you going to lick this? me? And you were like, no, I don't do that. What are you talking about? I feel like you're asking for it. Well, because you Which lick everybody. To deny you the pleasure. All right. I made you this. Oh, I love it. It's called Ook. It's called Gold Monkey. Um, thanks for spending Thank time you. with me. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're cute. And you smell super good. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank this you. This has been the best day ever. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you, baby. Mm. Thank you, Susan. Thanks. European. Pretty soon, I foresee this taking over cable. Well, who's after Jimmy Kimmel? Who's that guy? Uh. Craig Ferguson? You'd be after him, oh. I think. <laughs> Tastes like Broadway. Tastes like Broadway.com. Now I've made it. I finally made it. <laughs>